Hey guys, it is Vivids, and welcome back to another video. Um, so hopefully you guys are having a fantastic weekend. You know, I'm having a fantastic weekend, which is always good. And um, hopefully you guys have been doing some pest control. If you're going for trim completionist, Kate, you've been doing the cast awards. Uh, if you've been, if you're going for a bunch of XP and you're an efficiency expert, make sure you've been doing all the stealing creations. Uh, what else has been happening? Um, there's there's been a couple of other things that are oh, Dominion Tower double boss kills as well. Hopefully you guys have been absolutely abusing those um, mini games, and I'm going to be telling you guys which are, which mini games I've been abusing and why. Um, one of my ultimate goals for RuneScape has been to get obviously the completionist cape, and another goal of mine has been to get two sets of void. And now obviously with the coming out of elite void, it's it, my new goal is to get full elite void. So at the beginning of the weekend, I had one set of elite void. I had the raging hat, no, the raging hat, the ranging hat, the magic hat, as well as the melee hat. And my ultimate goal was to get a like duplicates of each of those items. So I had bank holders obviously in the bank. So this weekend, that was my goal. And I was doing pest control for quite a long time because I started with, I think it was like four or six points and I had to work my way up and get, you know, the entire set again. And I calculated it, and it would would have taken me about five hours. So I was like, I kind of ignore the f I, I ignore the five hours. Um, you know, I tried to ignore the five hour time span uh, that I calculated. So I just went, I just, I just went for it because I was wasting time. Um, and I gave it a good crack. Now I ended up getting the uh, the Void Knight gloves. I ended up buying a a regular Void Knight bottom. I upgraded that bottom, and I already had a regular Void Knight top, and I upgraded that top. So I had a, uh, so in the weekend I got an an elite void knight top, an elite void knight bottom, and another pair of void knight gloves, and I have about another hundred points. So at that stage, I kind of just, um, I didn't really give up. I just got really, really sick of it, and I didn't really feel any need to continue doing pest control because as long as I, as long as I have the gloves, the top and the bottoms, um, you know, some some of the helmets, like for example, the ranging helmet and the magic helmet. At this stage, I don't really have see a use for them, um, and the melee is probably the main thing that I'm going to be using. So. I'm not, I don't want to spend another um, another few hours trying to get those trying to get those items if I'm not going to use them all that much. And I'm happy with the the top, the bottom, and the legs anyway because you know it's always a good achievement trying to get uh, duplicates and void because it does take a really long time. So this weekend it was double livered. I did forget to mention that earlier in the video, but this weekend it was double livered points. And at the beginning of the weekend I was 650,000 livered points. And as you guys know, I am going for the completionist cape, so I needed to get 200,000 livered points this weekend, which I absolutely destroyed. I managed to get the 200,000 livered points. So I have 850,000 livered points. I've bought every single spell. Spoil Spoiler alert for the Completionist Cave video, which is going to be coming out very shortly. Um, well, actually, it's not going to be coming out very shortly because it's going to be the finale. I've got to do, I've got to do quite a lot of dungeoneering, but you know, I digress. This weekend, at livid. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was because uh, 200,000 liver points is the equivalent, or 200,000 liver points this weekend is the equivalent of 100 100,000 liver points. Um, just regularly, because obviously it's double livid points. So it was very, very bearable, and for livid for me isn't really that boring and isn't really that tedious. Obviously, if you're going to be there for uh, 40 hours straight, it's going to get really tedious and boring. But for me this weekend, I only get, I only essentially had to get 100,000 liver points, which really isn't that much. And with so many people there, it's uh, it's a lot easier because, well, firstly, you know which um, which little things of soil to fertilize because there's a continuous beam of white like f uh, spell stuff over the top you know so there's three spots and there's always white stuff above the spots and you know exactly where they are but that's not one of the reasons why it was easy the one of the main reasons why it was so easy this weekend is because the amount of people that were racing as well so if, um, now if you don't know what racing a little farm is I, I've never heard of this term before but I'm just let's say let's say I'm coming up with the term now it's basically whoever complete Whoever can complete the farm the quickest gets first place. So it doesn't if you get first place you get nothing. But it's just it's just good fun to race around the liver farm, which I was doing. And I managed to get first quite a few times until or until until quite a few people picked up on the fact that I was racing because I I would always do um I would always do is it hash? I think it's hash one, like number one. Um, I, know I, would, I would always do that, and then people behind me would always try and beat me. Um, I managed to get three firsts in a row, and then um, these guys ended up overtaking me and beating me by like, you know, they, they were beating me by a solid amount. Um, 
And, you know, it was so much fun. I know it sounds really, really nerdy, really stupid to be having that much fun at Livid Farm, but, you know, in all, in all honesty, um, I'm, v I'm a very, very competitive person, and it's I just find it fun, obviously, competing against others, trying to complete the Livid Farm the quickest, and having a little joke around if you get first, or if you get third, or if you screw up, if you go to encourage Pauline, and tell her that she's doing an absolutely horrible job, <laughs> um, instead of telling her that she's doing a great job. So, you know, that was always fun. And there was something, there was one of the highlights of the weekend as well. Um, now, obviously, with my channel having 259 subscribers at this stage anyway, um, there's, and well, my vi my videos averaging between 30, and I think it's about 30 and 50 views. It can't really give you an average because it changes every video. But obviously, with, um, you know, with about 50 people in comparison to um, other YouTubers, which get, you know, thousands and thousands, which they would get recognized very, very um, often. And for me, having about 30, 30 to 50 people watching the videos, um, and there's like 30,000 people playing the game, the chances of people coming up to me in game and actually recognizing me, quote, like recognizing, quote unquote, basically coming up to me and saying that they watch their videos, there's a very, very small percentage um, of chance that people come and do that, but this weekend I was running back from my sinkholes, and I believe his name was Lucky Joe, I'll show you the clip on screen, but I was running back from my sinkholes, it was like, it was a split second because it would it would have taken about 10 minutes to run from the sinkholes dude to the bank, and when I was running up there, this guy followed me, and he asked me if I was the YouTuber, and I swear man, it was one of like, you know, having so many people play RuneScape, and if when someone actually comes up to me and recognizes that I've make YouTube videos in game, um, it is really, really re rewarding and really, really fulfilling. So I want to thank you so much. I think it was Lucky Joe. I could be wrong, but thank you so much. You know who you are. Um, you know, thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. And obviously, that inspires me to make more videos. Um, now. The title of this video is, um, Will I Go For Trim? Now, there is a reason why I've done that, um, because, obviously, I am coming very, very close to the completionist cape, and, you know, what am I going to do further? What am I going to do in this game that's going to keep me entertained? What, like, what are my other goals? Now, the thing with Trim Completionist Cape is, it's a very, very big achievement, um, and at this stage, I think... Getting Trim Completionist Cape is, for me, I think it's just a waste of time. Now, you know, if, you, if you're watching the video and you have a Trim Completionist Cape, um, I'm not bagging on you at all. It is a very, very, you know, it's a very, very good achievement, a very, very big achievement. But for me, sitting at Castle Wars to get, you know, 10 billion tickets and then um, camping at a certain boss to get some champion scrolls, um, it's just, you know, just sitting there in one spot for ages and ages while doing other stuff, you know, it's just, for me, it's just a massive waste of time. Um, and all you get is, like, a golden trim on your cape, and whenever, whenever another massive, massive um, thing comes out of the game, you've got to do that, and then, um, you know, once you complete that, you know, you're happy again, but as soon as Jagex comes out with something that's absolutely crazy, you've got to do it, and I think, first of all, getting the cape is an absolute... You know, it's it's crazy to get. The people that have it, I don't know how the hell they get it. Um, completionist cape is good enough for me. Because the stats are exactly the same. It's just the gold trim on it. Um, and, the, you know, there are quite a few of the people that... There are quite a few people that have the trim completionist cape. But like I said before, um, I don't want to be bagging on people that do have it. It's just my opinion. Um, I'm saying that I'm not going to be getting it because it's too much. Uh, there's too much stuff to do for me. Um, when I get completionist cape... What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a lot of bossing. Um, my main goal is to make, you know, a bunch, a bunch of money. And then if you've been watching my streams, you would have saw that, uh, or you would have saw, you would have seen that I, you know, when I was streaming, we were doing a KK mass and there were about 60 or 70 people watching the stream at once. And the reason I'm saying that there were so many people watching the stream is because it was a great opportunity to um, ask people if they would like to give me a little bit of money in which um, I would use that money to make um, viewers of the stream members. So what, what I did was I took a couple of donations from the stream and, um, you know, I had I took all my money out of my um, coin pouch, my coin purse, <laughs> and I put it in the bank. So I had zero GP. Every single um, GP that I received went back to the community, so I did not keep a single GP um, because the main goal, obviously, of that was to make a couple of people in the chat members. So I got, you know, it was absolutely crazy how many donations I got. Um, you guys gave, you know, you guys were so nice, and you guys gave me some money. I then gave three people bonds. 
um, and I gave them I gave them all like a little bit of money as well. So um, there was two people that I gave 1.5 mil, which is absolutely insane. So they so those guys got a bond, so 14 days membership. I think I could be wrong, as well as 1.5 million GP. Um, from a free to play point of view, that is absolutely fantastic, and that probably would have made their day or made their two weeks. Uh, but that's basically all I wanted to speak about in this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, if you did, let me know with a like and a comment, uh, preferably a comment. But apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.